Hello, everyone. This is Jack Hadley from My Social Practice, and we are live on Facebook today, Friday, uh, March. What is this, the 9th? I think. <laughs> I think it is the 9th, yes. <laughs> Friday, March 9th, 2018. And uh, uh, my name is Jack with My Social Practice, and I've got a special guest with me uh, to visit for a few minutes. Uh, welcome to Michael Borner with uh, Dental Innovations, Inc. And uh, we're going to talk with Michael a little bit. Michael and his company are going to be one of our sponsors at the Dental Digital Marketing Conference next month at the end of April in Las Vegas, Nevada. And for those of you who are already registered for the conference, you can look forward to hearing from Michael. He'll be one of our speakers at the conference. And if you're not yet registered for our conference, be sure to check out the conference and see if it might be a good fit for your practice. There's still time to register. Go to the URL dental, did, excuse me, dental marketing conference. It's just dentalmarketingconference.com and learn more about the conference if you haven't registered already. So, Michael, welcome. Thank you. Great to be with you, Jack. Excited yeah. about our time. Nice to have you here. And uh, prior to our call, I asked Michael to prepare a couple of little things that I would like to talk about today. Uh, the, the first thing I want to talk about is just learn a little bit more about Michael's background and about uh, the, his company's background. And then I've asked him to take a couple of minutes and, and just share with us uh, kind of the direction of his presentation at the conference. So you kind of know what he's going to be talking about and how that's going to bring value to your marketing efforts in your practice. And before I turn the time over to you, Michael, I'd like to just let our audience know that as I've gotten to know you and your company, one of the things that I think, one of the reasons why I'm really excited you're going to be at the conference is because I think the things that you're doing really mesh in a, in a very unique way with what the conference is about. And in the end, the conference, it's, a, it's a digital marketing conference for dentists. I mean, that's all the conference is about. But in the end, it's about growing dental practices. And lots of times, dentists make the mistake of thinking the only way to grow a dental practice is to get new patients. And they hear this new patient, new patient, new patient, new patient message over and over and over again. Part of the conference is absolutely, positively focused on new patient acquisition. But we, we're reminding practices that there are lots of ways to grow. That's mm -hmm. certainly one of them. Another way is to retain existing patients. And another way is to increase the practice spend in the practice. And I think some of the things that, that you're doing with your product uh, really fit into that category very nicely. And I'm sure they fit in other ways as well that, that you'll explain. So with that as my perception of what you're doing, uh, let me turn the time over to you. Tell us a little bit about you and the company and, and your topic for the conference, please. Yeah, well, thank you, Jack. Our, our uh, real focus is being able to provide practices and dentists and their teams the ability to create rapid access to value. How do we help them tell their patients more effectively what the dentist or the dental team knows? And so my background has been primarily in high-end content creation for my first 15 years in that business. And then we started developing software that would explain complex concepts and a lot of medical uh, procedures to patients in a way that can use mobile and short form video. And so we've developed a new methodology. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in the last dozen years working with Fortune 100 companies that have t often tens of millions of clients and patients. And so we ended up launching into the dental world a little over a year ago that same methodology, but not going into integration, but with this technology using Dental Innovations method to be able to make it possible without, without touching IT, which is really nice, so it's very simple. Yeah. And so Dental Innovations is really about the concept of helping dentists be more innovative, engaging their patients, using these incredible devices that have kind of taken over the landscape. And many times they are flooded in the operatory, <clears throat> they're in just a lap. <clears throat> so we have figured out a way to be able to help the dentist at the height of interest and time of need provide the explanation for what's going on with that description. So for example, when a dentist says, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, it looks like we're gonna to need to do an extraction and do a dental implant. We call that a knowledge gap. Our, our, our core value here is to make it easy to close that knowledge gap. Yeah. And so with yeah. technology, 
everyone pretty much in today's society is carrying a, a smartphone and they all know how to text and most of them prefer video as a primary mechanism of learning. So we brought those two worlds together. We call it video text. And so like if, if you were my patient and say, hey Jack, I'd like you to just grab your phone and text and say, for example, Dr. David Hornbrook is one of our owners and innovators. Text Hornbrook, D-I, into your phone to 33733. They text it and instantly three short 90 second videos show up on my phone. Wow. That fast, <clears throat> no app, no email, no password, no friction. And that creates an instant ability all wrapped in that, <clears throat> excuse me, dentist brand. So it looks like he invented it. And now the patient can have right in front of them information that can confirm what the doctor was explaining. Kind of solves the hallway amnesia that often follows the patient visit. Sure. And so now we have the ability to transfer knowledge very simply and easily. And the patients absolutely love it. Well, and, and yeah, that's, that's just amazing technology. And a, 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 the thing is, it's not technology for the sake of technology, which sometimes <laughs> products are. But what, what this yeah. is doing, I mean, every practice knows uh, this, this whole concept of the million dollar file, filing cabinet, right? All the recommendations right. and un, unscheduled treatment that has taken place. And my guess is the term that you just used, which was uh, a quick lapse of memory of what this is even about by the time they get home, and now they've got instant access to the information. It makes it easier for them to sit down with their spouse and say, hey, you know, Dr. Jones recommended this. And, you know, we, we need to decide on this. And, oh, here's an easy way to help us understand the decision that we're making. I, I right. would think in terms of uh, helping with the million-dollar file cabinet of, of unscheduled treatment, this is a huge, uh, a huge step and a huge help. Well, you hit a, a core issue, and that is really about the why. The why is the story. We've got to more rapidly explain the story. And if the dentist could rapidly transfer what he knows to that patient, trust would be immediately felt, and they would say, wow, I need to agree to your treatment recommendation. Yeah. The problem is, is that transfer of knowledge in an operationally efficient environment is tough. You've got patients waiting. So what we've done is taken a huge amount of experiences in the past in the medical space, brought it into the dental we also design uh, these kind of beautiful menus <clears throat> so that you can verbally tell the patient the, the code to text or they can hand this to them and there's kind of a whole menu huh. of content and each of those topics have that dentist name with a little code. They text it, that provides the information. And I think what's important in today's world is we've watched mass consumer behavioral shifts. If you think about Uber, Netflix, other environments, the marketplace really rapidly rewards companies who can create what we call rapid access to value. Yeah. You get rid of steps. A lot better to click a button and have your movie stream and driving twice to and return you know, to Blockbuster. And so when it comes to dentistry, education is critical. And what we kind of frankly were a bit surprised about dentistry is dentists really want to be seen as innovators. So yeah. this helps them be innovative. It helps them more rapidly engage and add value to their patients. And it also allows them to do more core dentistry because now the acceptance rates can creep up from 60%, you know, up to the higher numbers, Yeah. but it also saves time. And that's a big part of making an office efficient. Yeah. I, I like, uh, I like your, uh, that you touched on the notion of this whole idea of kind of transference. I, I talk about a lot in social media is that if the practice is perceived as leading edge, in, in one area of the things that it does, there's this Good. psychological thing that happens where you start to be perceived as leading edge in other areas. And I would imagine this kind of technology that your company helps uh, provide um, is really uh, fundamental in, in helping move along that sort of feeling of transference uh, about a practice. And honestly, that was a bit surprising to me when we entered the dentistry field uh, and we were honored to, to win new product of the year at one of the major dental conferences. And when it comes to innovation, you're right. When the patient perceives that dentist as being innovative, they perceive their thinking systemically to be innovative, which exactly. means best treatment practices. And so we also found uh, kind of a new way to create uh, some elimination of friction, which is in the Google reviews, because oftentimes uh, the the doctors, the, the practices are trying to get more and more great, you know, legitimate comments. Mm -hmm. There's kind of been a lot of friction around leaving a Google review. Sure. So we invented a new process. So part of our solution in our subscription, you can actually set it up. So they send a text to that same uh, doctor's practice with a letter R and that brings up the link that lets them leave a Google review instantly mm -hmm. with one tap. Yeah. So 
we're going to create a whole new method to be able to make that more simple as well. Yeah. And now we're working. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that uh, that's a very useful technology that uh, uh, lots of practices are utilizing. And uh, yeah, it's really become a big deal lately. It really has. And that's an important piece that, you know, it used to be you tell your friend or your neighbor about your dentist and now social media, Google searching, it's critically important. And so we developed a much more simple way to make that possible. So that's been a really powerful way to be able to improve the efficiencies in an office as well. That's great. Well, I think that topic's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to hearing your presentation at the event. And of course, uh, you're one of our sponsors and I'll have a uh, a table there in the ballroom with uh, kind of more about what you're doing and uh, our attendees can take time during the breaks and that to come by and say hi to you and your team. But we're really looking forward to having you there, Michael. Well, thank you. And, and congratulations to you for leading a conference that continues to get bigger and greater. And, you know, what you're teaching and training dental offices to do, if they don't stay up with it, they'll find themselves rapidly behind. So thanks for all you do to educate offices to stay ahead of the cutting edge. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. We, uh, we're very excited about where the conference uh, has been and where it continues to go and grow. And so thank you for that. All right. Well, we'll look forward. Oh, let, uh, tell us the uh, URL of your website so that people between now and the conference uh, if they want to check out more of what you do. What is it? Hey, you bet. It's dentalinnovationsinc.com. Dentalinnovationsinc.com. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. All right, Michael. We'll see you in roughly six, what is it? We've got six, seven weeks out, something like that from the conference. So I'll look forward to seeing you there. And and again, as a reminder to any of you that may not have registered for the conference, click through. Uh, I think we'll have uh, our tech guys will probably put a link somehow. I don't know how this works exactly on Facebook Live. They always take care of it for me. Uh, but I think they can put a link there uh, directly to the dental uh, marketing conference.com as well. So you can check out more. And again, it's not too late to register. We still have a few seats available. There's still a few hot hotel rooms, I believe, at the Red Rock. We're at a beautiful hotel just off Very the street. Nice at the Red Rock. Yeah. So I look forward to seeing you there and all of our viewers. And thanks again, Michael. Hey, thanks, Jack. Look forward to being with you. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.